Hey, good morning, everybody. It's early morning. It's LA Light. How are you? You made it to the weekend. Uh, time to crush the weekend. Crushing the breakfast, crushing the weekend, crushing, you know, <laughs> the kids' soccer practice. Uh, crushing, uh, crushing college football. Crushing stimulus. That's what we got to crush. Crushing stimulus. Big breaking news overnight. Really exciting news that you could get big, bold, beautiful stimulus. And this is bigger than we had ever anticipated. It's incredible great news. I'm so excited for you. And it's going to be a great day as $2,400 for SSDI, 20% increase for SSI, big stimulus checks, multiple stimulus checks, extension of benefits, has to pay $10,000. Uh, get the bacon ready, because we're going to have a big feast. This is Early Morning's LA Light. Hey, good morning, everybody. It's early morning to highlight the lighthearted, easy breezy early mornings broadcast on this channel. Hope you're good and safe. This is a lot of fun. I'm so glad you joined me. Always subscribe. Subscribe to the first channel. Subscribe because sometimes I go live. Sometimes I go live twice in a row. Tapes, change it up, and a lot of fun. There's a lot of days of excitement coming our way, and yesterday was one of them, and today could be another one. Also, like this video. A lot of big developments, and it helps to like the video so the peer, video appears higher in the rankings. Uh, oh, and if you've not looked to the side, this is a super chat. It's a super chat. It features a live chat that's available if you're watching this video when it debuts at 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on Saturday morning. Chat with your Purple Power friends, chat about what you heard last night on Purple Power, chat about me, chat about the set, a little bit of change of decor, changing it up, changing up some lighting, and a lot of fun. Also, uh, make sure you save me some bacon. The coffee's toast, the coffee's toasted, the toast is brewing. <laughs> Duh, that's the look of using. Uh, and the cream is buttery. <laughs> <laughs> Sir Lloyd wouldn't like that one at all. Uh, so let's get to the breaking news. The breaking news as you start this new morning is that there's so much excitement because of two Georgia Senate seats. If these two Georgia Senate seats go Democratic, you can get the stimulus of your dreams. And I'm not being facetious about it. You could literally get every stimulus item of your dreams because Joe Biden wants to have massive stimulus bigger than the Temple of Doom, bigger than the Temple of Doom and Mitch McConnell put together times 20. I mean, it's just, he wants to have you have massive stimulus. Finally, someone who gets the message right because stimulus is the way you get through this pandemic. Get your feet back on the ground. You don't lose your business. You don't lose your shirt. You don't lose your home. And he's absolutely on ball. What's going on? If the two Georgia Senate seats go Democratic, you could get a lot more stimulus than I even mentioned 24 hours ago. First, you could get hazard pay at $10,000. Yes, hazard pay's back on, baby. But the attempt to get $10,000 of it is a big question if the Senate is GOP. Well, you would get $10,000 under hazard pay if the Senate is Democrat. That is an, a no-brainer. So if you worked as a gig driver in Uber, Lyft, or grocery store, or pharmacist, or Walmart, or Costco, or anything that's you know grocery-related or a distribution or warehousing, you would get $10,000. It's money you really need. Then, extension of FPUC, extension of UI, extension of PUA, all categorically incredible. You're going to get them either way what happens in Georgia, but the amount of money is the difference. Mitch has, you know, wanted to do $300 a week. Neance has, you know, wanted to do this number. Well, if Joe wants $600 a week, you're going to get $600 a week. And if you get it retroactively to late July, which is what you should get and what's, what you'll likely get, guess how much money that's going to be? That'll be over about eight grand, eight Jeez, yes, it's a lot of money. You owe it. You're owed it. A categorically incredible. Then my SSDI, SSI, and Social Security beneficiaries. Oh my goodness. 
Well, if the Senate goes, if the, both the Senate seats don't go Democrat, you would still likely get these things. Perhaps the numbers would be a little bit lower, but Republicans want to give you Social Security increases. That's a nonpartisan issue. So what is it? Well, Joe Biden is proposing $2,400 to $2,600 in SSI, Social Security, and railroad benefits as an emergency stimulus check payment every month. It would basically be $200 every month every month through from now to the end of 2021, which is about $2,600. It's categorically incredible. And what's incredible about it is um, it would land your bank account. You wouldn't have to do anything about it. Then he would increase your Social Security benefits by 20% lifetime up to 20%. Oh my God, that's not regarding the pandemic. That's just because you're owed it. You need it. You don't, you're not getting enough money. This is through the lifetime of your uh, receipt of benefits. Wow. Next, a cost of living adjustment. Ugh. Hate it. You hate it. I hate it. The milk and eggs. Yeah, they're going up. And cost of living. Ugh, it's not going up. It's just sort of flat. Excuse me. No one likes cost cola. And so what Joe Biden wants to do, toss it out. Toss it out and use a new benchmark to determine how to increase your benefits every year so that you would get more money faster, not sitting around for this horrible cola to kick in. Absolutely incredible. And has to pay $10,000. Has to pay ten thousand dollars if you worked during the pandemic any time part time full time uh overtime no time you know low time high time uh you would get this money you need this money it's about thirteen dollars an hour from the hours you worked during the pandemic and boy um it's categorically important then soon loan debt forgiveness there. EIDL grant there. Remainder of the EIDL grant, yes. Boy, it, it, it sounds like it's a lot to digest. It is. It's a lot to digest. And when we look at the Senate seats going Democrat in Georgia, then the only difference is the amounts is bigger. If they don't go both go Senate, Democrat in Georgia, don't presume your entire universe is imploding. That's just not the case. It's just you're not going to get $600 a week for FPC. You're not going to get hazard pay at $10,000. You'll get hazard a baby and you'll get FPC, just not those numbers, because Demo Republicans don't want to give big numbers. And how about stimulus checks? Well, Joe wants to give multiple stimulus checks, as many checks as you need to get through this pandemic to the, get to the finish line. And what's important to understand is you need that. You absolutely need that. And he's willing to write different bills to get it done. Well, what if the Senate's Republican? Then how much would you get? Well, then you would have to default to repurposing the CARES Act one money that that money that's sitting at PP at SBA repurpose it for uh, for purposes of stimulus checks, and that would categorically work because it's not partisan. It's not increasing the national debt. It's not part of the entire stimulus package bill. It would be just its own money that's sitting around by itself that you could repurpose. And that is sort of a no-brainer. That survives the issue of those two cents each in Georgia not going Democratic. Um, it's incredible great news. And so people are asking me in the in the in the Purple Power chat last night, which was at a 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, they're saying, hey, you know, um, what happens if what happens if F this and what happens if that? And it's what I what I told them, and I'll tell you right now, is that you can't sit back and predict anything with Nancy Pelosi, Chuck Schumer, Mitch McConnell, Donald Trump, or Joe Biden. You can't predict anything because at least all the way up to Joe Biden, every, all these people have always said they're going to do something on a Monday, and then by Monday afternoon, they either don't do something or they do the completely opposite. So when people ask me, what do you think is going to happen with this person, this person has never told us a straight or answer, has consistently changed their position every single 10 seconds. So it's too hard to say, hey, yeah, I can tell you that this is going to happen, this is going to happen, this is going to happen on that day, because you simply don't know. What I also told viewers last night, which is really helpful, is, you know, UI and FPUC 1.0, go get it if you qualify. If you have not done your unemployment benefits back to the d earliest date that you were impacted by the pandemic, you need to fix that because that money has nothing to do with what's the craziness that's going on in Washington right now. You can get that. That's the first thing. Then if you get that, you'll get FPUC on top of that. Yes, you'll still get FPUC on top of that for those months, March to July. Then 
there's the issue of escalated benefits. Yes, escalated benefits is the amount of benefits that you get paid um, based upon the amount of income you made. So state starts you at the base level benefits of unemployment, you know, 167, 100 a week, whatever it is. <clears throat> then, you know, you're sitting back and say, but wait a second, I made, you know, uh, $30,000 last year. I made 25,000, I made 21, I made, I made 45. Do I qualify for escalated benefits? Generally, everyone that makes about I would say 20,000 or 21,000 or more generally qualifies for some type of escalation of their benefits. And you generally max out, meaning you're at the maximum level, about 30,000. So if you go do that and get approved, it could be a difference of $100 to $200 a month. Well, $100 a month since March, that's March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, that's 10 months. It's been 10 months since the month of March. And 10 months times four weeks is 40 weeks. Uh, let's say you just increase your uh, benefits by $100. That's $4,000. You see how I say get the money. If you see the money's available, go get it. If you qualify and you're eligible, then go get it. And that's what's categorically important because ultimately you can't sit around and say, what do you think she's going to do tomorrow? You know, it's Saturday. And guess what happened uh, yesterday? Guess what happened last week? Mitch McConnell said the first time of business for the Senate when they reconvened when when they reconvened last Saturday last Monday would be to get a stimulus package out. Did you see the package come out? No. Did you hear about the package? Not really. Did you see them write a bill? No. Did you hear them talk about the deal provisions? No. So this is the sort of the problem we're having with these people. They talk about things and then they don't do anything. Uh, and that ultimately they can keep on talking, but let's walk the walk and stop talking the talk. Uh, and there you go. Finally, the important great news to focus on is that we're close to the finish line. It's, it's finally a point at which everyone understands you need this assistance. It's no longer a battleground of, I don't know if they really need it. Now they understand that you need it. Now they understand you need the classifications paid. Now they understand you need hazard pay, you need the IDL, you need uh, unemployment, you need FPC, you need all these things, you need eviction moratorium. It was a long time coming for these people to need to understand that thing. Now they got that. So the only thing that remains is getting it done and agree upon the number. And ultimately, if you get 80% of the number, you might be happy if you get it now rather than a thousand years from now or 90% of the number, then you're really happy. And that's the spirit of the purple power. Push, push, pushing. You need to be on social media and make it very loud and clear. As I said last night in the chat, you know, um, if you have a story to tell, you can certainly put it in the comments of this video or any other video on this channel, but ultimately make the story clear on social media and tag the polit political figure. Tell them your story. We know our stories. We know it. We've been living it. We see it as a family. So to repeat the same story to us, we already got it. Tell it to the elected officials. Make your message clear because otherwise they don't get it if you don't give it to them. And you got to give it to them very loud and clear in a respectful, orderly manner. If you have questions or comments in today's video, drop them in the comments below. Coming up next at 6.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time is a continuation of this video, Purple. Uh, and boy, it's going to be a lot of fun. I'll have big developments in that about the check. The check, how many checks, how big is the check, how soon can you get the check, all those incredible details. Then I'll be going over questions I'm getting about, you know, the dynamic of Biden and Trump, the dynamic of stimulus, the dynamic of getting things approved. Um, and then finally, I'll be getting you re on purpose about how to push, push, push to make sure you get all the stimulus you need right now and right here. It's a great Saturday morning. I'm so glad you joined me. Go to the front channel, subscribe. Subscribe because we're going to get through this pandemic together. Also like this video. Coming up next is a continuation of this video at 6.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. As always, stay informed, stay smiling, and stay valley for more.